Hi, everybody. Hopefully you can now see and hear me. Um, welcome to Mealtime Happiness, our four days to having joy and fun at mealtimes. We officially start tomorrow, April 19th, but I wanted to pop on real quick and um, just give you a little bit more information about how the week will go and also start with just a brief activity to sort of ground ourselves in why you're here and um, what you're hoping to get out of this challenge. So um, we officially start tomorrow, as I mentioned, and every for those of you who are registered for the challenge, every day you will get an email in the morning with the daily information. And um, within that email, you will read about what we'll be talking about that day. And there'll also be a link to the event on Facebook for those of you who are on Facebook that you can um, reply to. You can even hit going or maybe to that event. And if you can't um, attend the Facebook live in real time, I will tag you in the replay. I know a lot of you, um, everyone is so busy, but I will be going live every day of the challenge at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So if you are able to, please join. And if not, of course, no big deal. You can catch the replay and you can, um, there will also be a, a post in Facebook and of course the email that goes out. So if you have any questions, you can reply to that email. You can comment on the post. Um, I am here to guide you through this week. So um, I am available in multiple, in multiple ways. So that will be taking place Monday through Thursday and we will go from there. And if you're watching this video and you're not yet registered for the challenge, you can register at any time during the week. At the end of the week, I am going to send out a recap of all of the daily emails, all of the daily videos. So you will be able to access those. Um, and this goes, even if you're, you know, if you're registered for the challenge now and you miss a day, you will get that recap at the end of the week. So this it's called a challenge, but come on, it's anything but challenging. It's really meant to bring joy into your life at mealtime and um, make mealtimes just fun and, um, and joyful for all of you. So um, I also wanna mention one last thing before we do our quick activity. I am going to have a giveaway at the end of this challenge. For those of you who participate in any way every day of the challenge, you will be entered into my um, feeding exploration giveaway where I'm going to be giving away um, at least five, maybe more of my favorite feeding books and resources and activities. Um, so I will share more details with you about that, but um, that means either commenting on the Facebook Live, either real time or in the replay, commenting on the Facebook post, replying to my email, um, any sort of interaction, um, all four days of the challenge will get you entered into the giveaway. So, okay, let's begin. I want you to think about why are you here for this challenge? What, what's your why? And um, what I mean by that is what, what are you hoping to get out of that? So to think about that, I want to um, have you do a short activity with me. If you feel comfortable, you can either um, close your eyes if you feel comfortable or just shift your gaze downward. And I want you to think about how food was for you growing up. I want you to think about what your experience were, experiences were like. Were they positive? Did you enjoy meal times? Did you eat with your family most nights? Do you remember any of the conversations? Or were they maybe not so joyful? And maybe you don't have a great association with food growing up. Maybe you were asked to finish your plate before you could get up from the table. or um, Maybe you felt shame around eating and it, it didn't feel great for you. All of those feelings are okay. There's no judgment here. They may be positive, they may be negative, they may be neutral or somewhere in between. And that's totally fine. I just want you to think about that. And you can also kind of think about how food is for you now. It's probably changed since having children, right? It's probably, 
I mean, you're here because you want to make some changes, but it's probably, it may have shifted. It may feel positive or negative or whatever it feels. This is our relationship with food. And we all have one, whether it's positive or neutral or negative or somewhere in between, and that's okay. Now I want you to keep, keep closing your eyes. Keep, we're almost done here. But I want you to think about if your child was doing this activity in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, what sort of associations do you want them to have? What sort of things do you want them to think about when it comes to food when they were growing up? That's, that's why we're here, right? That's really the basis of feeding is that we want to help our children to form that positive relationship with food. And it's not easy. If it was easy, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this because it is really, really hard. But I want to help you get there. And that is what this week is all about. I want to help you start to help create that positive relationship with food. And and not only for your children, but for yourself as well. I want you, and for yourself meaning, I want you to be able to um, feel happy when it comes to feeding, feel like your child's meeting their needs, feel like they are expanding in what they're eating and that even though they may be um, picky or selective right now, you are making progress. I want that feeling to be, um, to be positive with you. So you may open your eyes if you haven't done so already, um, but that is what this week is about. It is about helping you figure out how you can create those positive memories so that in 10, 15, 20 years, your child remembers those things. So we're gonna get started and um, you know, this is meant to be a process and I am here, I am holding your hand, I am guiding you every step of the way. So if it feels scary or overwhelming, take that step back. You are not alone. I'm going to be here, we're taking baby steps, okay? So as we go into this week, the, that's what I want you to, to think about and, and how we can get just that joy at mealtime, that um, getting, you know, making feeding feel good for your kids, for you, for everybody. So I will see you tomorrow for the official day one of our four days to mealtime happiness. And as always, if you have questions or anything, I am here to guide you. I cannot wait to work with you this week. Bye-bye.